Call to the member for Goldstein. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I know Australians would be disgusted at the gutter tweet from the Chinese Communist Party today targeting the Australian Defence Forces. The fake images misrepresents a soldier murdering a child. The Chinese Communist Party's tweet was rightly being described by the Prime Minister as repugnant. It is shameful, and they should be ashamed of this post. It is welcome to know this condemnation is bipartisan, with similar sentiments expressed by the Leader of the Opposition. That the Deputy Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mr Li Jianzhao, removes any ambiguity that it was the indulgence of a rogue official by tweeting it from his account. The Australian Government and the, Australian, and the Chinese Communist Party may not always see eye to eye on important issues, but even in the most heated disagreements, there is no proximity in parallel. Normally in our disagreement, we are respectful to ensure that anything we say avoids China losing face. Today, the Chinese Communist Party removed it from its cells.